I'm in love with the silhouette. It's finally taking shape. I put everything in the dress form. I still have to cut the neckline, which I keep procrastinating, but it's fine. I'm not sure anymore if I'm gonna do the embroidery that I wanted on the neckline. I don't know if I have time. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Now, the biggest difference between what's happening here and my initial sketch is I swapped the colors. And the main reason why I swapped the colors was because the white linen that I have for, um, for the stays and for the bum roll is not the same linen as for the smock. So I, I switched it to red, which I was, I was happy with anyway because I have this lovely red color. That was such a great find. And everything I have made so far is on the dress form. I quickly made this bum roll today. I stuffed it with leftover scraps of material, which are in my bins. And yeah, I am so excited about how this is taking shape. I mean, look at it. Look at it. It's already starting to get that, that, that late Elizabethan silhouette and I am, I'm pumped. <laughs> I probably look awful right now, and it's probably like glare going from the from some from somewhere. Yeah, this is why I don't turn the camera on my face. Next up, I have to figure out the French farthingale, which the patterns right here, and then I gotta figure out um, what color combination I'm gonna use with the white and the red based on whatever leftover material I have. I have enough to make it. I just need to figure out exactly what percentage of red and white is gonna make it look great on top of this. And remember, the farthing gill is going to go on top of the bum roll and underneath this front part of the stays, which is one of the big reasons why I even have it this long, which is just to help the French farthing gill get that built so that it's higher in the back and lower in the front. And that helps with the silhouette. So I put the pattern on top. I have just enough of this material to cut out one layer of the farthing gill. This whole thing is a, is, is a bit of a mystery for me because one, French farthingales, there are no surviving ones. So the ones that we have in pattern form are people's best guesses. So all these are channels and that's where um, technically cane is supposed to go or, or boning. However, I, do, I did not take the time to order anything. So exactly what I'm stuffing this with, I have no clue. But I, I, I guess I'm just gonna cut it out and see what happens. On to the farthingale. Wheel for them. Yeah, okay.
I bought Round Read Online because I, I saw like a blog post that was talking about farthingales and although they weren't talking about the wheel farthingale and they're just talking about rather regular farthingales I had advice about buying Read so I at least got the name of something I can sort of use and it's Round Read so I bought this off Amazon and I'm going to be using it for the wheel farthingale. Again, I don't have complete instructions on how to use this, so this is going to be a bit of an experimentation. I have it up in the dress form on top of the bum roll. It's a little droopy right now, and I'm going to be using the pattern, measure it out, and figure out exactly how much of this I need. I believe I have about 750 feet of this. out a way to solve the issue that was happening with the farthingale. As you can see on this side it wants to collapse in itself because it's not a perfect circle and it is cut down here. So all that curve is going in here and it's causing it to collapse. And if I would have added the eyelets on both sides and tied it together, oh my voice, <laughs> and um, if I were to add the eyelets on either side then and tied it together, it still would have done the scrunching. So what I have done is I inserted a zip tie. Hello, and welcome to the countdown. Should I say countdown? Wait a second, wait, there's a, there's a, there's a better word for this. Hello, and welcome to crunch time. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I have a lot to do today. Very little time. It's 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 what eleven? What what time is it? It's eleven eighteen. My audition is tomorrow for the costume, and my goal for the audition was to have all the undergarments finished, so I can at least show all the undergarments finished and have them, I guess, confident that I'll be able to make the dress on top. I mean, look at this. Just looking at it makes me super excited. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> but um. It's not enough, at least not for me. I have no idea how they're gonna view all this, but maybe there it's gonna be above their expectations. Maybe it's gonna be a meh for them, but who knows? Yeah, so I have my checklist ready, a lot to do. I have to finish binding this farthingale. Although last night I did bind this edge. It feels a bit messy to me. It's stitching a little bit. So I may go back if I have time and clean that up a bit. It's just right now I'm really nervous because I'm trying to get everything done and I don't even know why I'm talking to the camera right now. Um, getting tongue tied. So then I have to do the eyelets for the farthing gale so that I can attach it. And most likely I'm going to be having it be instead of my previous idea, which is what I thought I was supposed to do, 
um, well actually this is how the pictures show it, which is what people put this and then they put that back open seam into behind, so back here, when they lay it on top of the actual outfit. I was able to fix majority of it just by adding the zip tie, but I'm getting a weird dipping effect. And to fix that, I am um, gonna be instead putting that opening in the front, and I have to make sure that my dogs do not pee this beautiful work I have done. Pedro, I love you, but Baba, please do not scare me. So besides that, then I have to do the uh, fix four eyelets on the stage. Besides that, I have to do the closure for the farthingale, make sure everything's right, make sure everything is properly attached, fix all the loose ends on the stays, because there is a couple spots where the stitching is coming undone, so I have to fix that. Um, and then I have to do ribbon for the stage. I have to try on everything, because I have not, I have yet to do that. I have yet to try on every single part of this costume, which is going to be fun. And once I do that, I have to cut the neckline. This white area right here in the chest area, yeah, that's going to be cut away. And then once that happens, I'm going to have to face it so that it doesn't have not, does not have a raw edge. And maybe if I have time, embroider it, because again, my original design was to embroider um, the neckline of the smock. Uh, maybe if I have time I'll do the cuffs. I don't really know because I don't know if further along the line I'm gonna have to just take apart the cuffs because of some sort of wrist rough situation. Yeah, I don't have time to go into that. Um, organized receipt. Part of the requirement is keeping all the receipts. And I have all the receipts right there. Um, prep a bag for tomorrow because I do have um, college tomorrow on top of high school and my audition. And then straight after college, I have to go run over and um, attend an event. Then back on, no. See, if I leave them alone too long, they're gonna be the dress. Um, prep bag for tomorrow and then store the costume whole car situation going on with transporting this into school. And besides that, to me, I have a lot to do. I'm going to accomplish everything and yeah, I would say wish me luck, but I don't believe in luck. God, please help me. Give me strength. Because <sighs> I know I can do all things through you. Amen. Okay, so what I have done is I have taken strips of leftover linen, hand sewed them together because this whole smock is done by hand. I always do my smocks and chemises by hand. It helps me get the repetition I need to uh, develop my hand sewing skills. I took the strips and then I sewed them together to create a facing. And then once that facing was exactly the size needed for this neckline, I sewed it down. I didn't do my usual knit neat stitches. I did instead running stitches that had an occasional back stitch. I've created these really neat little corners, which is making me really happy. I'm going to be using the embroidery floss again. Just like how when I use it all around the garment, I think the neckline would look too plain if I didn't also do it for this edge. So this has happened. All this. I've cut the neckline out. And it has the embroidery on the edges. There's a ribbon tying. This is the stays. The sleeves look lovely. As you can see, they're like perfect and beautiful. And I have to show you that with them tried on because when you have them on with an actual arm through them, it has this lovely poof that happens. He just cute right now. Look at him. Oh, hi, Bubba. Hi. He just wants love because I just got home. And then here's the other one. Oh, look at that. He just wants all the attention. Pedro, down. Good boy. Okay.